Okay, sir. Hi, I'm Tamika, her granddaughter-in-law. Gina, how you start about Gina? And you have like a year now? So it's a year now, and you're like that. So it's a year now. And now she has been some time. She was like, I opened a book. A mother to me. And you want to be an uh, early riser and a late sleeper. She was the type, she up from 4 in the morning, by 8, lunch done cook. <laughs> lunch done cook, so you did lunch or breakfast. <laughs> Gina was, she loves your party. She always spoke what her mind, and in the short space of time, I know her. The lessons that she taught me was great. Almost like, the best one is, don't be afraid. Because if, don't be afraid. Because if you have fear, you would never get where you want. You go after it. Go brave. Go brave. And she was a really good person to me. And I give her that respect. I give her that trust. All of them, they know I like way, 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 way back when. I just, you know, the stories of her. But all in all, she was a really great, free spirited, open minded, lovable person. If you would, you would find words to describe her, but honestly, it wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough because her last was that was like she tied up and she lived a full, a really, really full life. I was the one who, where I don't know, I would go to Gina. I don't know where he is, where he is, and she can tell you. Off the bat. So she lived a full life, a great life. Like she said, she don't want nobody to cry, mourn for her. She want to go down and expect. So, for Gina, well, Julie can't experience her trying to, but she was a great person. It's very rare when you find them like that. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity to know her. So she has a really good person to know. Did you ever go to Kai Sophia's story? Honestly, no. I didn't have that pleasure of going to Kai Sophia's story. But I, had, I went places that she would want me to go. Like, come on to the summer, come on to the summer. Like, Kai Sophia's story, I never went to Kai Sophia's story. I heard like the stories of her. I see the pictures of her, but I have a one. Good. Yes, good night. My name is Glenn Barry Thomas, better known as Squeezeye. I have known this woman for quite over 15 years now since I live in Bacardi. And she was a nice woman, nice neighbor to me. All along we used to go all Joey Fett to the um, Valerie, a friend from um, from the United States of America, and most likely she might be coming in for this funeral. And we had a lot of good times and bad times. We also used to have we also used to have a proper Sunday school line at Valerie Resident, and it used to be so nice. She, she used to be there cooking, helping out, doing this, doing the next. And we, we had such good time with her, and it's so sad to know that she has gone and left, left us so left us now. But uh, God have a place for everyone, and I believe if this is the right time. Instead of she stay here and suffer, thank God for taking her and then having her suffering on the earth. So this is what I have to say tonight, and thank you very much. All right.
sun now raising up, and the crowd now waking up. The atmosphere have vibes, and nothing can break it up. The girl them a wine non stop, we had the drinks them in a mic up. We gonna party all night, all night. 24 parties we hit in a row, tonight at the very last show. Before we head out on the road, the girl them a release the load. So let me see your hands up so, everybody know, put your hands up so. If you're ready for the road, let your friend them know. We're ready for the road. We're so ready for road. the road. We play them first. So we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. 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 Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. 